in a tranquil garden cafe, the soothing sound of a nearby fountain mingled with the gentle rustling of leaves in the breeze. The scent of blooming flowers and freshly brewed tea created an ambiance perfect for relaxation and reflection. Seated at a corner table, two friends, Mia and Lucas, were engaged in a deep conversation about effective stress relief methods. Surrounded by nature's tranquility, they discussed the importance of managing stress, the challenges they faced, and their personal experiences in discovering and practicing stress relief techniques. Lucas, the topic of stress relief is incredibly relevant and continuously evolving. With the increasing demands of modern life, Many people struggle to find effective ways to manage stress. Have you noticed any particular trends or personal experiences that highlight the importance of stress relief methods? Absolutely, Mia. The challenge of managing stress is something many of us face daily. Despite the availability of numerous techniques, there are still many misconceptions about what truly works. What do you think is the most critical factor in finding effective stress relief methods? I believe one crucial factor is the personalization of stress relief techniques. Ensuring that each method is tailored to the individual's specific needs and preferences. Question. Lucas, in your opinion, what is the key factor in finding effective stress relief methods? A. Personalization of stress relief techniques. B. Regular practice and consistency. C. Combination of physical and mental relaxation methods. Answer. C. Combination of physical and mental relaxation methods. Lucas, I think that combining physical and mental relaxation methods, option C, is essential. This approach ensures a holistic way to manage stress, addressing both the body and mind for a more comprehensive relief. I completely agree, Mia. Combining physical activities like exercise with mental practices like meditation can provide a well-rounded approach to stress relief. It's about finding balance and addressing all aspects of our well-being. Exactly. By incorporating both physical and mental relaxation methods, we can achieve a deeper sense of calm and balance. I've found that practices like yoga, which combine physical movement with mindfulness, are particularly effective. As their conversation continued, Mia and Lucas discussed various techniques for integrating physical and mental relaxation methods into their daily routines. They shared personal stories illustrating how focusing on these aspects has enhanced their ability to manage stress effectively. Mia. Beyond combining physical and mental methods, I think another pivotal factor is regular practice and consistency. How do you think these aspects impact the effectiveness of stress relief techniques? Question. Mia, how do you believe regular practice and consistency impact the effectiveness of stress relief techniques? A. They help build resilience against stress. B. They enhance the benefits over time. C. They create a routine that becomes a natural part of life. Answer. 
B. They enhance the benefits over time. Lucas, I think that regular practice and consistency enhance the benefits of stress relief techniques over time. Option B. Consistency allows us to develop habits that can significantly reduce stress in the long run. Absolutely, Mia. Practicing stress relief methods regularly can lead to cumulative benefits, making it easier to manage stress as time goes on. It's about making these practices a part of our daily lives. Right. Consistency helps us build a routine that can significantly improve our overall well-being. By regularly engaging in stress relief activities, we can maintain a lower baseline level of stress. They continued discussing different strategies for maintaining regular practice and consistency in their stress relief routines. Personal anecdotes highlighted the importance of integrating these techniques into their daily lives. Lucas, another critical aspect is the personalization of stress relief techniques. How do you think tailoring these methods to individual needs impacts their effectiveness? Question, Lucas, how do you think personalizing stress relief techniques impacts their effectiveness? A. They address specific stress triggers unique to each person. B. They increase the likelihood of long-term adherence. C. They provide a sense of ownership and control over stress management. Answer. A. They address specific stress triggers unique to each person. Mia. I believe that personalizing stress relief techniques impacts their effectiveness by addressing specific stress triggers unique to each person. Option A. When techniques are tailored to individual needs, they can be more directly effective. That's an excellent point, Lucas. Personalizing stress relief methods can significantly enhance their impact. It's about understanding what works best for each person and tailoring the approach accordingly. Exactly. By identifying and addressing individual stress triggers, we can create more effective and sustainable stress management strategies. This personalization can make a big difference in how we handle stress. They explored various examples of how personalizing stress relief techniques has improved their ability to manage stress. They discussed the benefits of maintaining a flexible approach that adapts to their evolving needs. Mia, with all these factors in mind, what do you think is the most important step we can take right now to encourage more people to adopt effective stress relief methods? I believe the most critical step is to promote awareness and education about the importance of personalized and consistent stress relief practices. By integrating strategies for physical and mental relaxation, regular practice, and personalization, we can encourage more people to adopt these methods. Continuous support and sharing of best practices can greatly enhance our efforts. I agree, Mia. Empowering people with the right knowledge and tools to manage stress is essential. With a strong foundation of education and personalized approaches, it becomes much easier to adopt and maintain effective stress relief practices. 
Advocacy for mental health and support from communities and organizations is also crucial. As they wrapped up their discussion, Mia and Lucas felt more optimistic about the future of stress management and the potential for positive change through integrated, personalized, and consistent stress relief practices. As the serene ambiance of the Garden Café continued around them, Mia and Lucas left with a renewed sense of purpose and determination, inspired by their conversation and hopeful about helping more people discover the transformative benefits of effective stress relief methods. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of effective stress relief. Personalization. Tailoring stress relief techniques to individual needs and preferences. Consistency. Regularly practicing stress relief methods to enhance their benefits. Physical relaxation. Engaging in activities like exercise and yoga to reduce stress. Mental relaxation, incorporating practices like meditation and mindfulness to calm the mind. Holistic approach, combining physical and mental methods for comprehensive stress management. 